Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll take you step by step how I solved this find the devices challenge on codewars.com. It's a really good one if you're just a beginner because you'll get used to using loops, if statements and array methods. So stay tuned while I quickly explain this challenge and don't mind the dogs barking outside. I couldn't keep them quiet. Um, so the challenge is to uh, receive an integer passed into this function and determine whether the number is prime, which means that it's only dividable by one and itself. And if it's not a prime, we have to determine what are its divisors so uh, and return them as an array. So I solved this one uh, with four quick and easy steps. First one, I needed to have, an, have a place to put all those devices into. And because I'm supposed to return an array, I created an, uh, an empty array to start with. Uh, second, I needed a way to uh, look for those numbers. So I needed a loop to iterate through all possibilities. Three, I needed to check if the number is what I'm looking for or not. So that sounds like a job for an if statement. And last but not least, I needed to figure out if the number is prime or not. And that's pretty much it. So uh, now that I kind of uh, mapped out all the steps you need to take to solve this challenge, uh, please do try it on your own, because that's the best way to learn. You're not really learning the logic behind the code when you watch someone else. And algorithms are different kind of thinking than uh, on the day-to-day -day basis. So uh, as I said before, um, I'm gonna start off by creating an empty array. Uh, the second step was creating a loop, so I'm gonna use a for loop for this. I'm gonna set my index to 2 because if you remember we're not supposed to uh, include 1 in our array and I will always be less than our integer because we don't want to include the integer in our array either. And then I want to increase i every iteration. So now it's uh, time for step three, which is a condition. I need to check if uh, the number is what I'm looking for. So the way I'm gonna know it is if when I divide integer by i and the number is still an integer after. Um, so I only know of two ways of doing it. Uh, one way is using a remainder operator, uh, which is a percent sign. Um, so it works like this. For, it, it's the same as division. For example, 10 divided by 5 is 2, but 10 uh, remainder 5 is 0 because there is nothing left after you divide 10 by 5. If I used 12 remainder 5, the result is going to be 2 because after you divide 10 by 5, there's still 2 left. Um, so that is one way. And then I, if I did this this way, I would have to make sure that after this is uh, after its integer is divided by i, it's equal to zero. Or the way I, I did it was using the number wrapper object and using is integer method on it. And here I'm gonna pass in integer divided by i. And this method returns either true or false. So if this is true, uh, I wanna put this number into this array. So I'm going to use a push method on our array. I'm going to pass in i as an argument. So that's that's it for step three. Uh, now the only thing left for me to do is um, figure out, figuring out if the number is prime or not. So I will create another if statement. And the way I'm going to know if the number is prime or not is by this array again. If the number is prime, there's not there's gonna be nothing in it, it's gonna remain empty. 
So uh, I'm just gonna check what's the length of this array. And if the length is equal to zero, I can be sure that it's a prime number and I can return my string. I'm gonna use the, uh, I think it's called template literal syntax. Um, and I'm gonna insert my uh, integer here and say that it's prime. It's this, this is the same as if I uh, did something like this, I think. I haven't used this type of syntax for a long time, so I'm not actually sure this is what I want to do. Yeah, it is. It's the same thing as what I had before, but it's just easier this way. It's cleaner. I don't actually use, like concatenating strings, so uh, that's why I use it. Um, and if it and, and if this if statement returns false, then I wanna return my array. And uh, that's pretty much it for this. Um, let me just run a test. And it passes all the tests, so it's all good. Uh, let me know how you liked it, and let me know if you managed to do it on your own. If you did not, that is okay. Like, it happens. And um, as I said before, algorithms are different type of thinking, and you just need to get used to it. And the only way to do it is keep going and... I'll see you in the next video.